Welcome to Zach D T V, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we're going to look at three new pieces of tech that will change the world forever. All right, let's get right into this. The first thing I want to talk about today is a new project from Ariel Burton. Their tech company coming straight to us from Japan. And have they come up with something awesome. Tangible holograms. You heard me right. These are holograms cast in the air without a screen, fog, or any surface to be broadcast on that will react to your touch. And you can feel them. Pretty amazing, right? Well, this is how they do it. They're actually using finely focused laser beams to ionize molecules in the air. It's actually creating plasma, and that is what you're seeing. When they first started this project, these plasma balls were hot enough to burn leather. They had to calm it down, and how they did this is by making the burst quicker. They were originally using nanosecond bursts. I mean, a ridiculously fast burst anyway. But that was causing too much concentrated power and causing way too much heat. This would burn you. So what they did is speed it up. Now they're using femtosecond blasts, which is actually a word I never heard until today, so bear with me. There is one million femtoseconds in a nanosecond. That's how fast these lasers are pulsing. It causes faster ionization, but also a quicker dissipation. So that way you're not actually gonna get burned. But from the ionization, you can actually feel it in your fingertips. And that allows you to touch the hologram and feel a feedback from it. Now, since you can touch and feel it, what they also notice is it turns a little bit brighter when your finger touches it. They read that feedback and can change the image. That's all they're working on right now is the ability to change the image. They'll do like broken hearts or love hate, stuff like that. Still really cool, but you know this is going to get to the point where we have it in our phones. We have it coming off of our desktop. We might have a floating icon we could touch to command things. We're not far away. It is an amazing technology, and this wasn't originally designed to be a game or a toy or something to play with. Their main goal is to actually be able to broadcast messages in thin air above emergency sites or something like that. Unfortunately, I could also see this being used for like 3D holographic style advertisements above a city. But advertisers will advertise. That's what they do. My next piece of tech comes to us from a group of researchers at University of California, San Diego. They have come up with a glove that can read sign language, and then they translate it into English. With the right program, they can translate it into any language, but this is just the start. They do this by using stretchable sensors that run across the back of the glove, and an accelerometer to detect the position of the hand. This system is extremely accurate, and it can detect all 26 letters of the American Sign Language Alphabet. One of the big things about this is it's extremely cheap. They built this glove and electronics all together for less than $100. So you know if this goes into mass production, it will be extremely affordable and open up communications between everyone. They do plan on some modifications here. They wanna be able to work with two gloves and some advanced programming, and then they'll be able to understand different sign language signs, which I really don't know any, but these gloves will be able to tell me what someone is saying in sign language by detecting where their hands are, their positioning, and everything else like that. They also think this would be great in virtual reality because their glove is sensitive enough to detect changes at each joint in the hand. This would give us a lot more definition when, say, grabbing something in a VR environment or pulling a bowstring or something to that effect. It'll give you a lot more fine-tuned control in VR. Well, there's another great piece of tech coming out of the University of California, San Diego. And finally, this last one might not be as groundbreaking for everyone, but I know there's some people out there that can use it. Konica Minolta. You might know them for their, their printers. They're a big manufacturer of commercial printers. They have launched a fundraising page for the Kunkun Body System. This is a discrete detector that connects to your phone and will tell you when you stink. That's right. You never have to worry if you smell bad again. This detects scent in four body areas. Your feet, your head, your armpits, and behind the ear. Yeah, behind the ear. But of course, what smells bad to one person doesn't to another. So it's actually detecting what it calls the middle fat odors. And from what I found, that's old people smell. I don't know how else to describe it. It has already raised the money it needed in crowdfunding. So this is going to come to us, and it's coming out of a reputable company. So I think we'll see this, un unlike a lot of the Kickstarter fails out there. It's going to retail for 30,000 yen, 
about 265 American dollars. And it should be coming to a store near you soon. And on that note, I'm going to wrap it up. If you like what I do, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's going to show up down here. I do this Monday through Friday, five days a week, with a live stream on Saturday and a short on Sunday. It's Friday now, so I'll see you guys around 6 o'clock tomorrow. Have fun and be safe.